Creating a service class for Azure Blob Storage is actually very easy. First of all, let's add here the constructor. And we'll also need some private fields. So first of all, we need a field to store the storage account name. Then we need a field to store the key for this storage account name. This is the easiest way to get started with it, but in regular applications, I would read these informations from an Azure Key Vault. Last but not least, let's add a private field to hold a blob container client to a specific blob location. In the constructor, we can use the storage account name and the key to create a storage shared key credential. Then we need to construct the URL to our blob using the storage account name. And now with all this information, we can create a blob service client. And then from the service client, we use to create a blob container client that indicates the path to our exact videos that we have in a blob storage. So from now on, I can use this video container to serve the video or to do anything that I want to do in the service with these videos in this specific container. 